So can this 16-year-old from California make it a hat-trick of excellent performances from the States? Eighth in the world last year, lies in seventh place going into the free. The winner of the Four Continents competition at her best, terrific. Disappointing in the short, as were Wagner and Gold. Tinkerbell from Polina Edmonds. <laughs> Good start. Triple Lutz, triple toe, made absolutely sure of the second part of the combination. Good flow over the ice, lovely speed. Triple flip, doubt on the landing there. Not sure if she got round. Triple Salco at the end looked okay. And she has this slightly changing edge, which always causes the judges a, a bit of a question mark on the flip. in the spin. She could keep going all day. Lovely landing on the double axle. Should get recognized as a higher level and a grade of execution for that. That's her best jump so far. Triple Lutz. And follows it up with a triple flip. Starting to really pack in the content now. Flip, double toe loop. Very good, certainly a step up from the short yesterday.
young lady who started skating at the age of two the mother of course is her coach I couldn't go overboard on it there, there was for me a little bit too much time in the preparation of some of the elements particularly the jumps but it was very sound and I love her arm movements she really does express yes well yes it's not it's uh, she's got this balletic training alongside of the ice that's been running concurrently which I I wish I'd have known about when uh, I was skating because I think it, it's it's vital it gives you great posture and it gives that softness and yet strength with the arms so she's got that inbuilt and it comes over the music fits well and uh, David Glynn there has been training her with her, her mum from when she was four uh, that's another thing I, I like when you stay with a coach and they grow with you um, and and take you through that's super so often we see people jumping ship and sometimes that's valid and you you grow apart but uh, it's good to see them sticking together she does have the gap in between the jumps so there's not quite that confidence that some of the other girls have which will show in the grade of execution there are a couple of jumps the uh, the combination with the triple loop uh, into the uh, the toe the double toe and the end double axle where I'm not sure she was completely round yeah she was round there and you have to remember she is 16 years of age yes yeah, so this is it's all in in development and the body grows very quickly of course for the ladies around about this time lots of changes going on so that can cause uh, a little blip in the overall the schedule of, of how you are developing and then it, it can settle down it's always different of course i, I globalize but sometimes it, that can make a difference so it's the maturing the going from the girl to the lady that we see here coming through next year i could see a more sophisticated program yes um the ballerina on the ice and it, and it really growing art with artistry and th not those changes of edge on the jumps and a little bit more sorted there so two americans in the clubhouse and this one's going to join them but you sense that the uh, other Americans are going to move in front of her which will be disappointing from her because obviously that they, they look friends but there's a pretty st stiff battle going on behind the scenes between well I think once you're on the ice three. the gloves are off but when you're off the ice the, the best thing if you can have it is to just have a fantastic team spirit and be supporting each other and uh, uh, there's certainly team spirit in the the new adjunct to the kiss and cry. Yeah. Two happy young ladies. Are there going to be three? I sense not when she sees the figure at the end, which will have her placing. Yes, third. The two Americans alongside her. They're applauding, but they're probably a little relieved. And Edmonds slumps to the uh, third place in the American contingent.